So this is another way to do a query in a page based on bind parameters and this time we're going to use a view criteria. So what we have is we have a view object with a simple query and we're going to add some criteria to it. Um, let's do something that says uh, department ID equal to some bind variable. We'll define a new one. We'll call it um, P1. Okay, And we're going to tell um, the control hint to display it as an input text with list of values. Okay, and we can add another um, condition here. Let's do salary. So salary is greater than some other bind variable. You can call this one P2. Okay. So this is our condition. It's called employee VO criteria and it's done here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the attributes here and pick the department ID and add a list of value to this attribute. So I'm going to add a view object, choose the attribute and in the UI hints and specify the name. Okay, and we save everything and this is how we set up our model part. Now we're going to create a new JSF page. And what we're going to do now is we're going to use our view criteria to create a query component with a table that will actually display the results of the query. Okay, so if we look at our data control we'll see our employees VO. Okay. Underneath it in the named criteria we'll see the employee VO criteria. We're going to drag and drop it into our page and create a query component with a table. going to save everything and we're going to run the page. So the idea here is that we create the view criteria for the view object and in it we have bind parameters and one of them is indicated as being based um, on an input list of val uh, value component and because it's based on the specific attribute it would also, and the attribute has the list of value, it would automatically be picked up when we run the page. So when our page comes up, we can set a salary, so let's say 7,000, and choose a department, let's say purchasing, and do a search. Okay. Now alternatively, we can go back into our uh, view object, okay, look at the list of value we have, edit it, and in the UI hint, choose to show it as an input text with list of values. Okay, save it, and rerun our page. This time we still have the same thing in here, but the list of value this time is based on a list of value component where we can do something like search all the departments that have M in their name. Okay, pick up the department and click OK to execute the search.